Sometimes, a capable smartphone doesn't need to be expensive or have the greatest and latest hardware internals. It just works remarkably. The Lumia 630 from Nokia is the phone that don't require you to pay too much to enjoy a great smartphone experience. This is episode 53 of Gadget Review. Over the years, we have seen major improvements in Windows Phone thanks to Nokia's full commitment that pushes the OS past its boundaries. The Lumia 630 is the first commercially available smartphone with Windows Phone 8.1 with the Lumia Scion update. It features very much the same design language like other Lumia devices and you can't miss it. The device also feels very solid when held on hand and thanks to the matte plastic back cover, it doesn't slip off easily. Lay the phone on its flat surface. The extremely black display panel makes the phone extremely elegant. You'll also realize that the capacitive touch buttons have been replaced by on-screen buttons and there isn't a physical camera shutdown button this time. A combination of mid-range and entry-level hardware internals lie under the hood of the Lumia 630. That includes a quad-core Snapdragon 400 CPU, 500MB of RAM, 8GB of internal storage with microSD expansion, a 4.5-inch full WVGA display with Nokia's clear black technology, 5MB of autofocus main camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, dual SIM capabilities, and an 1830mAh battery. A 4.5-inch display with a full WVGA resolution should sound boring to most people today. However, the Lumia 630 managed to impress us with its vibrant colors and deep blacks. It isn't really pixelated as well, and you can really live with it if you don't compare with a high-resolution display. We are also satisfied with the touch response of the phone, which makes using the phone and typing a pleasant experience. We also love the loudspeaker. Music playback is loud and clear. Listening to our voice calls from a distance is achievable. The Lumia 630's hardware internals would have struggled badly on an Android device. You'll be surprised by the phone's performance on Windows Phone. We are able to install and run most apps from the Windows Store without much issues. The phone performs snappily in launching apps and we have never experienced transition lags. It also manages app switches without a sweat, and app resume speeds are reasonably fast. Such performance is unbelievable for a phone that only has a paltry 512MB of RAM. On the other hand, Windows Phone 8.1 is a huge improvement from the previous version in both features and performance. Microsoft has introduced a few new notable stuff on board. Action Center shows our notifications and comes along with four configurable quick actions. Apply background pictures to our live tiles so it doesn't look too boring. And improve software keyboard with workflow that lets you type faster. Overall, Windows Phone 8.1 hasn't changed much in our own perspective. However, you'll be able to realize that the operating system has improved dramatically and its user experience is very much on par with Android and iOS. Nokia's Lumia Cyan update emphasizes a lot on improving the phone's imaging capabilities. The rebranded Nokia Camera app brings features from the Pro Camera and Smart Camera app, allowing you to take pictures in an easy or professional manner. The 5 megapixel shooter does a decent job in taking pictures with accurate color saturation and detail in good lighting conditions. Video recording is limited to 720p resolution, which is still acceptable. When you have taken lots of pictures, Nokia Storyteller helps you create video highlights for your pictures similar to HTC Zoe. You are also able to apply filters and make your pictures look even better with Nokia's Creative Studio. All these apps make the phone's photography experience very comprehensive. The phone's battery life is pretty decent despite having an 1830mAh battery. We use the phone in a very moderate manner. 5-6 to six phone calls in a day, sending instant messages in a few sessions, browsing our Facebook feed and the web while synchronizing 3 email accounts, and 80% of the time over a HSPA Plus connection with both SIM cards on standby, and that gives us a full working day of usage. Cell reception is generally good with great HSPA Plus speeds. Our callers also reported great voice quality from our end. Nokia or Microsoft devices have done the necessary actions to make the Lumia 630 a great contender in the mid-range smartphone category. Windows Phone 8.1 still may not offer the best user experience out there for everyone. Most popular essential apps and games have been ported over from competing platforms, 
which therefore allow us to use the phone as our daily driver without much hassle. The Lumia 630 retails at 549 ringgit, with many colorful back cover options to choose from. You may want to check out this device if you want a reliable and smooth smartphone experience with Nokia's fully featured apps. We rate the Lumia 630 at 4 out of 5 stars. Guys, thanks for watching this episode of Gadget Review and we hope that you've enjoyed the show. Head on to our website at klgadgetguide.com to read more details on the Nokia Lumia 630 Dual SIM. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at KL Gadget Guide, and if you would like to help us, click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting gadget reviews coming right up. My name is Warren and I will see you next time in the next episode of Gadget Review. And this is the Nokia Lumia 630 Dual SIM.